So after cancer, one of the biggest hurdles that I had to really overcome was dealing with the scars in my life. And that was the mental scars and the physical scars. And I want to talk about both of them, um, you know, in this video. And I think that this is very relatable to a lot of us when we go through challenging moments in our lives and dealing with the scars, whether they are physical or whether they are mental and how we can overcome them and how we can actually use them to really elevate our life and elevate others' lives as well. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. And the first one I wanna talk about today is the mental scars. And after cancer, I remember, um, you know, I was this healthy personal trainer. I had just, you know, lost all this weight. Um, I was learning to walk again. I was extremely vulnerable. I had a ton of self-esteem struggles, I guess I would say. You know, I I would look in the mirror, I'd see a shell of myself, I would, you know, feel down, I'd feel depressed, I'd feel lost, and I would let the mental scars define who I was. I let it define that I was this broken down person that didn't know where to go with my life, that I had a long journey of recovery, a long journey of healing, and what really helped me get out of that mental struggle and that, you know, overcome those mental um, scars of my life was learning that it's not going to happen overnight. And the fact that when I started to learn that it is keeping the promises you make to yourself by doing daily small tasks to help elevate your life, you eventually build confidence. And what that means is, for me, I first had to learn to walk again. And from learning to walk again, I would do little steps every day. I'd walk a little bit further and a little bit further. And yes, I'd have some ups and downs. Then, you know, it would be eating a little bit healthier and eating a little bit more calories, gaining that weight back. You know, I was 110 pounds coming out of the hospital. And then on top of all of that, making sure that I was, you know, getting um, the proper sleep, having the hydration, and taking care of myself, and just doing these small little tasks every single day, ultimately started to put momentum into my life. It started to build confidence within myself, and a lot of those mental scars of looking in the mirror and feeling like I was never going to be the version I used to be, which I wasn't, I was actually going to be a stronger version of myself, but I didn't know that at the time. Um, and feeling down, feeling depressed, feeling like there was no hope, I started to see a small light at the end of the tunnel. And as I kept progressing, as I kept building that momentum, as I kept building confidence, those mental scars started to heal and I started to gain actually strength and I started to gain lessons that allowed those scars to turn into my strengths in my life. So I wanna let you know if you have these scars, start by just doing small little tasks every day to start healing yourself. Stuff that is, yeah, maybe it's scary, maybe it's challenging, but at the end of the day, it's going to push that needle forward. And as you continue to do it, I promise you, the momentum will build, the confidence will build, and all of a sudden, you will start to see those scars turn into your strength. So that was the mental side of it. And then we jump over to the physical side. And on the physical side, I ended up having five surgeries. And before that, I was this very healthy personal trainer. You know, I predicated myself on looking healthy and fit. And coming out of it, not only was I dwindled down to 110 pounds, I had this massive scar, which I still do, and it'll never go away, where they took out my abdominals and I had this lump on my stomach. And for me, seeing that in the mirror, being down on myself, at first I thought it was a sign of weakness. I thought that people would judge me. I thought that I would always let it define who I was, but, and I would be terrified to share it. But about a year and a half later, as I started to heal, as I started to build those mental scars and turning them into my strengths, I gained the courage to share my scar. And I said, I'm not doing it for you know likes and all this. I'm doing this because I feel like there's somebody out there that maybe is going through something similar and they have their own scars in life that they're afraid to you know share or 
that they went through that as a challenge time in their life. And when I was able to share that, I realized really quickly, I was not alone. And I realized that what I thought was vulnerable was actually our strength, was actually a sign of resilience, or a, sign, uh, a sign of the dedication that you put in to heal yourself. And today I've realized that, you know, for myself, God has those scars in my life so that I can use them to at first become a better version of myself and now help and inspire other people. So what my whole moral of this message is today is your scar is really something that you can use to not just better yourself, but use it as a message, use it as a symbol of your strength, use it as a symbol of your resilience, of your determination, and of your impact towards other people. So don't be afraid of your scars, whether they're mental or physical, because at the end of the day, God uses your weakness and uses your mess as a message to help other people. So, you know, I hope this helps you guys. I hope that, you know, you're, you know, if you do have these scars in life, you do not let them define you because at the end of the day, they are so much more than a setback. They are actually a setup for something better in your life. So I hope this helps you guys. Matt Odie here, founder of Survivor HQ. And if you are a cancer survivor, I want to just offer an invite to potentially hop on a call with me. And if you're looking to transform your life after cancer, transform your body after cancer, this is like my, my life's work, is I was able to transform my body, able to transform my mind, and now I wanna give back, I wanna serve, and I wanna help you, if you are a cancer survivor, to rebuilding your body, to rebuilding your mind, to being the ultimate version of yourself. And if that's you, check down below. Let's maybe potentially hop on a call, see if it's a good fit for coaching. If not, I'd just love to chat and help you as best I can. So once again, thanks guys, Matt Odie here, and we'll talk soon.